Hello, I'm rolling. Ha ha ha. Get myself in focus here. All right, here we go. So what am I going to say now? I had a plan for this, but I don't know. I'm here in Hollywood in my bathroom. We are getting ready to travel the world and we're going to film ourselves. Let's go. We are musicians, filmmakers, business partners, and you have to stop talking. Well, best friends. <laughs> I finished it? Oh my god. This show is about us and our dream of traveling the world together. But it's also a show about two guys trying to create a TV show and all the things that can possibly go wrong with that. You okay? You okay? Here is Noor Cherry. I am Jonas Peterson. And this is Out of Tune. I became a workaholic the past few years and Having to let go of all of that to focus on writing music on the fly and shooting a TV show about that, it gets wild. This is gonna huge leap. I mean, we're so used to the life here in Hollywood, working all the time. How can I afford to travel around the world? It's always a question. How can I afford to live? For me, it's not a big difference. For me, I mean, I'm already in a country that's not where I was born. I'm, I didn't grow up here, so. You know, I'm kind of always traveling in a way. I know I'm, I'm gonna figure out somehow to make money wherever I am. What are you gonna do with your apartment when you're gone? I'm trying to sublease it, you know, rent it out, so I can save money. So what are we working on today? I'm in that situation where I have to do my daily hustle as a filmmaker and producer for other clients. So that's why I'm rushing. And musician, you're playing a gig tomorrow too, right? I am playing a gig tomorrow during a pandemic. Kneel before your kneel king. before your king is this section right here. And then this is judgment awaits. What's your process like? Where do you start? It changes every time, but I have to think of a story. Essentially, it's a me melody. I try to draw upon emotions or places, uh, or places or things I've experienced. It's sad, but it's just the way it's been happening, right? But you know what? I really do. Uh, there's a piece I can work. I can f actually just pre-purpose this one. Um, so uh. there's sound everywhere around us, all times, and you can draw inspiration from all those things. I have a feeling. I feel a note, right? And then. I take a wild guess, you know? I'm feeling. And then I find that anchor. That's that one note right there. Every time I write a song, it's going to be a different scenario. It's going to be a different profession. It's going to be a different passion. Um, it's a passionate... It's a passionate affair. <laughs> Can you send me the list also? What, what does it come out to? What's, what's the... Is it like $10,000, $15,000 or something? What, what do we... It's closer to ten. This is great. You met this woman. She seems to be really excited about us. She has a lot of money. Uh, you know, she just committed to putting $25,000 into this project. You think it's everything? Oh, everything? yeah, yeah. We were thinking about the Panasonic Lumix S1H. Oh, is that? The only oh, one that's like a DSLR one. And that's, then, that's the one that's on the Netflix list. Yeah, which is like $4,000. One Lumix lens, the 24 to 70 f2.8. It's $2,200. Um, I think we should did you, ask did you have room. Did you put audio on, on that list also? Because uh, remember I sent you the list of like audio stuff that I did? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How did I convince this uh, investor to help us out? I didn't, I shared what I was doing. She called me and she was saying, I want to fund this. I want to help you. I believe in what you're doing. And the so, thing is, I, I, I don't really want her to, to pay for that. Well, we're gonna pay her back. Well, it's just a loan. We're just gonna ask for a loan. Okay. An investment. Okay, yeah, I guess that makes more sense. You know? I'm not quite sure yet how I feel about having an investor. I've never been good at taking money or accepting help in general. So this is a big first for me. We are leaving and everything's paid for. And um, I was like, okay, what am I getting myself into? 
we're doing it. We're going to Brazil, to Mexico, maybe Turkey. We're going to Southeast Asia, to Indonesia. We're going to Borneo. We're going to travel the world, meet new musicians, people of indigenous cultures. We're going to document it. We're going to record it. We're going to jam out with them. We're going to create new music. With this investor, we can finally produce the travel show that we've always wanted to do. This is exciting, you know? I mean, I don't know how else we would be able to do this. We did it together and she bought the tickets for us and the Airbnb. She wants to invest in our company, so I suppose, you know, I don't know if we bring her on as a shareholder or something. She said that she thinks we can make millions with this project, so. Hello. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. I know you were interested in some cases last time. So I have to find something that fits my violin. I play violin for a living. I, I record a whole orchestra all by myself. Yeah, see this fits, but I have to build something obviously when they throw it around on an airplane. That it... In an orchestra, everybody plays a different instrument, right? So they mix together differently. That's why I always play two different cellos and three different violins, and I only have one viola. Okay, I'm gonna have to play something for you now since you're asking. I like the acoustics in here. I can play with the world's smallest violin. You can play what? The world's smallest violin. It's, it's an expression you say when somebody's like, <laughs> <laughs> world's smallest violin. Oh. This is my like zone where, where it's almost like meditation for me. I just like, I get so into it. I actually don't write down music anymore. I literally just listen to the track and add something to it that I, I feel like fits and then add something else and I just like listen to my feeling. I mean, obviously I know music theory, so I kind of know what kind of notes to put in, but um, I'm really glad that over the years I got rid of this kind of notation process. So it's really, I really like compose in my head. Well, we're going into into the tropic, trop, tropics now, how do you say? Tropics. tropics, yeah, so it's all rainy. We're going to Yucatan, Mexico. Originally, we wanted to go for half a year, and now we're like, you know what, we might just, we might just leave and travel for a year. Thank you so much. You got your violin? I got, uh, yeah, that's true. You know what, I always forget my violin. <laughs> I'll see you next time. See you next time. Whenever that is. Bye. It is with deep sadness and disappointment, I must tell you, I have chosen not to move forward with Mexico and Symphonic Planet at this juncture. We got an email, our investor pulled out. I am very unsettled by your request for a loan without having presented today any business plan or financial reports, including original partnership pr proposals as we discussed well over a month ago. Yeah, I'm not quite what to say now. Um, I mean, we were kind of like, it was really last minute, we were scheduled to leave in a couple of weeks. We got excited that someone seemed very committed, that believed in us, and pulled the rug from under us. This gets better. It has become clear in my queries over the course of your uh, of time here that the company is insolvent. She's basically saying we're not ready, which is kind of true, but I mean, that's the problem when you, when you become friends with people. She was a little bit too excited from the very beginning. And you know, that was a little suspicious, like more like helping you and you know, rather than like actually investing in a project that she believes in. So I'm not surprised in, 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 when somebody's that quick that they are also quick to just pull out. It was my fault for being too quick to trust, you know, cause I saw how excited she was. I went with it cause I, because I, you know, it's, it's I need my to fault. take risks and stuff. It's, but It's my um, fault, Jonas. It's just, I don't know. I, I feel responsible. I thought I was doing better about bringing in these opportunities. We should have made a contract, right? Like, well, I we mean, should have figured something. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's good that we didn't have a contract. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we have the means to do it ourselves, you know. Do you think we're ready? I mean, are we like... When will we ever be ready? We're always going to have to like come up with something to be prepared for. We're gonna do our work, remote work. That's not gonna find us a TV show, I don't know. Do you think that's an option to try to find a film producer to maybe finance the thing? Yeah. They need to understand that this is a, a lifestyle choice. This is not like some vacation or some really, you know, fun party time. 
that for us to get a break. There's no break for us, we work. I know, well, this may be a major setback, but maybe if we have someone who does know more about the film industry and knows how to get the money, how to secure that, that might help us. I think we've tried to do this too long by ourselves and we have to be open to get help.